I'd like to touch on a little bit uh, of what we're talking about in this module, and it, it's really introducing organizational behavior. I'd like to, to talk about three perspectives of organizational behavior that we'll be covering in this course, and that's the micro, the meso, and the macro perspectives of organizational behavior. The micro perspective looks at individuals, uh, characteristics and behaviors of individuals. So this week we're looking at uh, decision making. Um, that can be an individual process. Uh, we'll look at other things like prejudice and values and attitudes and personalities. And those are all characteristics or processes within individuals that, that influence behavior in organizations. After that, we're going to switch over to looking at the meso perspective, more towards the middle of the course. And the meso perspective looks at group dynamics in organizations. So we'll look at uh, groups and teams and leadership, all things involving uh, how groups uh, interact and, and the characteristics of groups in organizations. Finally, we'll wrap up the course by looking at the macro perspective of organizational behavior. And this looks at characteristics of organizations as a whole that influence behavior. So we'll look at things like culture in organization and structure in organization and, and think about how those influence behavior. And if we really want to understand organizational behavior, we have to look at it from an ecological perspective. It's not just about individuals. It's not just about groups. It's not just about the whole organization. It's about how those aspects of organizational behavior interact with one another. So an individual's behavior often depends on the groups that he or she exists in and the organizational culture that surrounds those groups. So Please don't think of these as really different perspectives. It's important that we find ways to integrate these perspectives. So as we start thinking in the macro perspective, think about, OK, would this apply in different groups? Would this apply in different organizations? I think you'll see that, that things may differ depending upon the group and the organization in which individuals are surrounded. I'll talk to you later.